board. Now look, our team members here on the Ecstasy, there's over 800 team members on board working hard to take care of y'all, everybody. And we represent over... We represent over 70 different nationalities, and you're going to hear a ton of different accents and dialects this cruise. And I know you're looking at me like, where is he from? I can't quite place it. But let me tell you, I am from a little tiny city. Some of you may have heard of it. Some of you may not have. It's known as uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. All right, <laughs> uh, we have Fort Lauderdale fans in the house. And folks, I'm really excited for this cruise, and I hope that all of you are as well. Because not only do we have so many special events and activities planned for you to make sure that we do set the ecstasy off with a bang, but I have been here since day one, everybody. And I, like, I don't mean like 1991, I've just been a little baby. But I signed on to this ship on February 5th, and I have been here all the way through the entire final run of the Carnival Ecstasy. So, let me just say, as special as this cruise is to each and every one of you, it is just as special to me and to all of the crew members here on board. And we could not be more thrilled and more honored to have each and every one of you on board. Now, I know we have a lot of returning cruisers, and y'all know the tips, the tricks, the secrets, but maybe you've never heard this before, and especially for our first timers, there are two very important pieces of information for you on how to make the most of your cruise vacation. Now the first is to just get involved, everyone. All right, life is what happens when you're sitting on the sidelines and watching it pass by. So this cruise, get involved in anything that's going on around the ship. Even if you're just sitting and watching the band, all right? Coming out to our trivia, our games, our pool games, our Lido events, our dance parties, our sing-alongs, come and get involved in everything that's going on, all right? Especially when you're in this lounge, the Blue Sapphire Lounge. This is your home for entertainment here on board the Ecstasy, all right? We have an amazing playlist cast of singers and dancers that I know Waylon told you about earlier on. And folks, they're putting on a couple incredible shows for you. When you come and see them, all right, we don't want you to just sit there quietly and watch. We want you to join in on the fun. And during these shows, if you hear songs that you love, please, by all means, Join in and sing along at the top of your lungs. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put you up on the test right now. If you know the words to this one, I need you to join in with me, are you ready? Well, I guess you say come on. What can make me feel this way? Buffet. <laughs> you feel all warm and fuzzy down in your tum tum. Then you need some Tums, tums. But look, don't just get involved, everyone. Step outside of your comfort zone, right? That's my next piece of advice. There's so much excitement to be found outside of your comfort zone and so much fun as well. So this cruise, if you've never sat in front of a room full of strangers, come on out to karaoke, sing your heart out, folks. You never know. You might like it, right? If you never get dressed up for Halloween, you brought a costume with you, we got a big Halloween deck party. Put your costume on, let your free flag fly, you never know. You might like it. If you're vegan, try a guy's burger. You never know, <laughs> you might like it. Now listen up, apart from all of the very special events that we do have planned throughout the cruise, we do have two happening that happen on every single voyage that the SEC has set sail on since we come back into service, and they're two of my favorite events. Tomorrow at 12 o'clock on the leader deck is the Groove for St. Jude. And I know we're all familiar with St. Jude Children's Hospital, the work that they do, the work that we've done with them. And listen up, I got a lot of shirts left on the ship, and by the time y'all are gone, I don't want a single one of them left. So come join us tomorrow at 12 o'clock on the leader deck. Grab yourselves one of our Groove for St. Jude t-shirts, folks, and we're gonna do some great work to help the kids of St. Jude this cruise. And the second happens on the last day of the cruise, and it's called the Military Appreciation Gathering. Now, Carnival, very proud. I haven't even said the good part yet. Carnival very proudly carries more active duty and retired military service members than any other cruise line in the world. That was the good part. 
And on the last day of the cruise, we are all coming together just to simply say thank you to our service members here on board. Folks, listen, that event is open to absolutely everybody. So I want this room as full as it is, as full as it is right now for that military appreciation gathering. And you know what? I want to do something real quick. Chris, can you turn the lights on for me, please? Wow, this is the fullest this lounge has ever been. Oh, all right, hold on real quick. Who let the dogs out? I know y'all are wondering, we got 101 Dalmatians in the corner over there. All right, but this isn't about what I'll leave, maybe you want to do. But folks, what I would love to ask right now, real quick, if we do have any active duty or retired service members in the room, can you just stand up for me for just a second, everyone? And y'all give them a huge, huge round of applause. Thank you to each and every one of you. Thank y'all so much for your service. And I do hope to see all of you at that military appreciation gathering. But there is one of you who caught my attention, right? Sir, in the Friends Inspired shirt. Yep, that's you. What's your name? Ron. Ron. Ron, if you don't mind me asking, what branch do you serve in? The Air Force. The Air Force. For how long? 24 years. 24 years in the Air Force, everybody. Rob, 24 years in the Air Force, you must be a pretty brave guy. No? Rob, you know what I'm about to ask you. Rob, are you brave enough to come up on stage for the very last welcome board show in the history of the ecstasy and help me out with the next part of the show. Give it up for Ron, everyone! Oh, so I gotta put this bad boy on. Come on up, Ron. Yeah. Y'all good? He's good, all right. Now, Ron, let me ask you a question. Where are you from? Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay. Well, not many fans of Arkansas on board. Watch this. Alabama! I love it here. Uh, Alright, so Ryan, you're from Little Rock, Arkansas. Who are you cruising with? I'm cruising with my lovely wife, Carol. Your lovely wife, Carol. And it says season 46 on your shirt. Is, are you celebrating an anniversary of this cruise? 46 happy years of marriage, everyone. Right. Now, Ron, do you show Carol every day how much you love her? Oh, no, sir. <laughs> you start volume up? Okay. <laughs> it's funny that you say that because the question I just asked was, do you show Carol every day how much you love her? <laughs> Down the last for 46 years. Don't worry about it. Ron, you stay right here. I'm going to talk to Carol for a second. Hey, Carol. No, no, Ron, no, no. Stay here. Stay here. I'm not talking to you yet. Come on now. Carol, does Ron show you every day how much he loves you? Does Ron ever dance for you? He just turned up again. What the hell did he just say? Um, so it's safe to say that Ron has never danced for you in front of a full auditorium of, I don't know, 700 people? No. Carol, happy 46 years. That changes tonight. All right, Ron, come over here with me. Now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to teach you the simplest dance of all time. All right, you're going to do it. You're going to put it together for Carol. And on the big finale, this audience is going to go crazy. Are you ready, Ron? Yes, he is. <laughs> Carol said yes, that means you're ready. Okay, are you, are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right. Okay, so I want you to stand right here on this line, facing that way. Okay. Now, Ron, what you're going to do with your right hand, just give me a little flicking motion like this. All right. So, of course, you're going to give me just a little bounce. All right. So, cross it in. Now, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to see a few steps to the front, crossing your right leg over your left, it looks like this. 
He's, he's an robot. All right, let me see it. Let me see it. You can eat it. Okay, just take a few steps to the front. Just, just, you can go like, you can shuffle down if you want to. Thank you. Hello! Hello, 
Um, I'm ever so sorry, but I don't know the name of the gentleman on the lights, but could you press the on button so I can see all these wonderful people? Turn it off again. Turn it off. <laughs> Turn it off. Sorry, I'm joking. Turn it off. Hello. Hello. Wow, look at all of you. Look at all of you. Uh, a few months ago, we had less than 100 cabins sold on this ship. And I happen to say, you know what? We need to give the girl a goodbye, a proper goodbye. And thanks to each and every one of you, a month later, the ship was sold out. And that is, I think, because you love this ship, this class of ship, and you wanted to come and say goodbye. You dressed up as Dalmatians. There's one brown dog over there. That must be a Shih Tzu. I don't know what that is, but that's some different kind of breed. <laughs> Shih Tzu? Where did that come from? Um, you came on here to celebrate the fact that you've been on here once, twice, ten, twenty times before, and you wanted to say goodbye. I met people who were on the very first cruise back in 1991. Are any of those people here? Did you come and join me? Yes, there are some over there, and some up in the balcony. And those two people there, you see, um, conceived a baby on the cruise. And I, I had the cabin next door to them, and that was the longest three minutes of my life, so that really was. <laughs> they were on the very first cruise, and I think it's wonderful that you've come back here again. I really am. We are going to celebrate a lot. We're going to do some special activities uh, tomorrow at some time. I don't know when it is. Uh, we're going to have all of the department heads here because I want you to know a little bit about not just the past history of the ship. Oh, I forgot. We've got a, an interpreter. Hello. Hello, hello. Shih Tzu. <laughs> I want big Shih Tzu. A big Shih Tzu. I knew it would soon be fine. Um, we've got lots of activities, uh, we've got all the department heads coming out with the captain. I want you to know about what's going to happen when you leave because it's fascinating to go behind the scenes and find out a little bit about uh, what's going to happen when we say goodbye to the ship. Then we're going to do some other things which I'll leave as a bit of a surprise. Um, and then we're also going to raffle off some of the things that you can see as you walk around. All the money is going to go to St. Jude Children's Research. I do want to add, there are some things we can't let you take, like this pillar, for example. Don't take that. Um, and please leave a few pieces of cutlery on the table on Friday. Don't be like walking. But we've chosen some great things for you, which I hope you're going to enjoy. Um, bidding on and then we're going to give you something which will uh, uh, sign and we, we want to make this a really memorable, memorable last cruise because as I walk around 35 years, five and a half million guests have walked up the gangway of the ship in the last day. It's incredible and yet there are one or two little things that when you look at it you think maybe she is a little bit showing her age but it would be wrong for me because i've been with the company the same number of years uh, that this ship has uh, <laughs> plus a lot more i think she looks absolutely amazing so i'm going to ask each and every one of you for five dollars a person we're going to buy the ship <laughs> and we're going to sail her from cleveland ohio to Little Rock, yeah. I don't know, somewhere else. But um, we're going to do a, a, a real, real goodbye. And for me personally, this is quite special because the last time I was on this stage holding this in my hand, I was the cruise director. I was slim. <laughs> 
I wasn't fat. <laughs> do not do that. Don't do that. I do it a little fat. Not, not like a huge... I'm not... <laughs> I'm going to do that again. Can you do the small fat? Because you do the really big one. I was slim. Not fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those, that was 1991, my goodness, the memories walking around this ship for me are just off the charts. I was walking um, on the top deck where we used to have, uh, we used to call the sun deck, and when I first came on board as a 20-something cruise director, I looked at my idol, the staff captain. His name is Fabio. <laughs> and I looked at him as a young cruise director and I watched him walk around that deck in his speedos. <laughs> he was the king of the ship. The women went mad for him. The, the men went mad for him. I wanted to be him. I remember this like it was yesterday. I said, Fabio, what is your secret? He said, John, John, listen to me. Get a potato. Put it in your bathing suit. You will be the king of the legal death. I went to the chef. I got the biggest potato I could. I put it in my bathing costume and I walked across Lido and the women ran screaming in terror. I said, Fabio, you said to me if I put a potato in my bathing suit, I would be king of Lido deck. He said, John, put it in the front. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolute honour for me to be here with you. I know so many of you so well. I know all of you are going to take such great care of the crew. I know when the uh, cast have finished performing their show tonight and through the cruise, you'll show them how much you appreciate it. They've been together for months. These are their farewell shows. They'll never perform together as a cast. They're going to go to different ships. Little side stories to everything you see. The crew members who are serving you, the crew members who are cleaning, the crew who are working so hard while you're asleep to have the ship looking incredible for when you wake up. They will leave, they will say their goodbyes, and they will go on vacation or to another ship. We don't want to say goodbye, we have to say goodbye, but I know that all of you will make this goodbye so very special, right? right. So, without further ado, I'm going to go backstage and uh, put my costume on because I'm part of the show. In all seriousness, please thank our interpreter. This is you do a wonderful job. Watch. Just take a look at how they perform the shows. They actually perform it. And if, please, I don't know your name, sorry. Kim, if you see Kim, Please go up to her, shake her hand and say Shih Tzu. <laughs> Alex, come on back here because I know you've got to introduce the show. Thank you everybody, thank you. Oh, one more thing, get your phone out. We're going to do a selfie, I'm going to post this on the Facebook page tomorrow. And I want everybody uh, to see how much fun you're having. It's the Q&A, then I will be in the lobby tomorrow night for elegant night. If any of you want to take a, a photo, I will be there. And, pardon? Oh, that's the dance captain. She's from Liverpool. Oh, I've got to go. I left my wallet backstage. <laughs> Ciao, here, everybody. Very nice. Thank you. Good night. Now, look, everyone. As he mentioned, our amazing cast of singers and dancers known as your playlist performers, are just about to come out on stage. Tomorrow night, they've got a show called The Brits, celebrating some of the greatest British pop and rock hits of the 60s and 70s. And we have new fans of The Beatles, 
This is a very special voyage for a number of reasons. It is the final voyage here on board the Connor Galaxy Sea. And just like he said, it's full of little moments to make this special for all of us, and more importantly, for all of you. Now tonight, this is closing night of this show. Every night is closing night this cruise. So what I need all of you to do is give this cast as much energy and as much enthusiasm as you possibly can. And look, one more piece of advice to that for all of you, all right? We did not get a chance to do this in the real world, but I wanna make sure that we get to do it here on the XSC. So, for the next five days, everyone, when you're on board the ship, I want you to do me a favor, and I want you to live your lives like we're celebrating Betty White's 100th birthday. This one's for Betty, but right now, everyone, do me a favor, put your hands together, give it up for your playlist pass on the carnival, hey! 